Attention, all head. Abandon ship. Timkin. Timkin is gone. Really? I will not have anything to do with this, or you, if you follow them. Kelly, I, I, wait a minute. Wait! Kelly, wait! Well, here you are. Seems to be a little paradisical on your part, Alec. Who the hell invited you? We've been looking for you for a long time, Captain. Captain? That's a title that I haven't heard in years. We're here to rescue you. I believe the term is... <laughs> you know what the term is, Kesh. Already had to rescue this one. Cheap Starfleet shuttlecraft. Two castaways in one day. I am not a castaway. Perhaps you would prefer the term AWOL. He would prefer to be left alone. Oh, well. Not alone. Surely. <laughs> Your hostess is quite attractive, uh, if not thoroughly pissed. Who the hell are you? I'm Dr. Skip Anderson, formerly of the USS Tristan. I'm on special assignment for Southley Commander Lystra Davis. Lystra sent you. Indeed, she did. You were quite difficult to track down. Fortunately, I have a nose for tracking you down, Alec. Just like that nudie. Yeah, I've never heard of it. You see, you know Terran colloquialisms just as well as I do. Yeah, fine. Well, now that we've all made nice nice, can we please return to Federation space? You don't talk like a Vulcan. Only half, I'm delighted to say. Can we go now? I have worlds to conquer in the glory of the Empire. <laughs> Likely. Very. I need five minutes. I'll bet on 30. Perhaps. And just like that? It's been a long time. Seven years. I needed rest. You gave me rest. I needed to heal. And you healed me. I needed you. And you gave yourself to me. For that, I will be eternally grateful. But it's time for me to return to the stars. I'm a wanderer. It's time for me to fulfill my destiny. I 
am happy for you, Alec. There's a whole galaxy out there to be explored. Strange, beautiful new worlds. Come with me. I cannot leave Virgitia. It is my curse to remain here. The gods have ordained it so. Kelly, Kelly. I find it hard to... Are you sure you're truly Calypso? Quite sure. But I have enjoyed the time we have shared together. Can I visit you again sometime? If you ever find your soul in need of healing, come to me. Come to my world. And I will heal you. Wait, I have something for you. Just something I had lying around, resting. But don't open it yet. You'll know when it's time. You appear to be mistaken. Take me home, gentlemen. Sure, they shoot. Ship's log, stardate 00606.2. The Potemkin is scheduled to rendezvous with the shuttlecraft Lang here at the edge of Klingon space to take aboard a Dr. Anderson and an unnamed passenger. Unfortunately, the shuttlecraft is 11 hours overdue. My orders are to stand by until further notice from Starfleet Command. I hate secret missions. It is unexpected that so many of us former Potemkin officers were gathered together to meet this shuttlecraft, and with me in acting command rather than a proper ship's captain. We all have our suspicions, our hopes, and yes, our fears about the purpose of our assignment. Anything? Something on the long-range scanners. Oh, damn. Please be more specific. Sorry, sir. Uh, it's not the line. What then? Klingons. The very edge of our scanners. The shadow in us. Trying to be unobtrusive. This is the best way to stick out like a sore thumb. Our hunt for the shuttle just got a little bit tougher. We'll find him. Yes, but I'm worried. There's no signal from the lane. There's no homing beacon. Maintain a distance of 25 AUs. Continue scanning for the Lang. It will be out here somewhere. Cook. Look at this. We're not even certain we're on the right course. Assuming the pilot entered a course to take the Lang directly from the Klingon Empire to the Potemkin, this is the correct one. That's a pretty big assumption. Yeah, I know it is. It's best to just worry about the hostile shadowing us for no apparent reason. Hostile. Have we forgotten about the Kittimer Accord, sir? I mean, treaty or no, if somebody is stalking me, I'll consider them hostile. 
They're just playing games. I'm probably trying to see what we're up to. Suggest we ignore them and continue to look for the shadow. There are no worry. No worry. Commander, you're in the officers. The call, please. I appreciate your input. Thank you very much. We'll continue searching for the light. Keep your five to the Klingons and move, no matter how trivial. Sigers picking something up dead ahead. Magnification 10. Is it the land? It's too far away for an accurate reading. Intensifying all scans, sir. signs of life taking the boys, sir. No signs of death, either. Looks like there's been an impact on the engine. Probably a meteor. We'll know more when we get it on board. Suggest we not bring it aboard until we run a full series of security scans, sir. Sir, I respectfully suggest we download the link's computer data first. It's a trap. Computer's probably been compromised. Agreed. Let's do a full security decontamination first. No need to take any chances. May I be of assistance, sir? I don't think... Thank you, Lieutenant. You can correlate your data from my console. <sighs> Three to one. They'll be married within the year. Three to one. A, a group marriage? Ship, my rules. Space. Ours for the taking. <laughs> we have detected the Potemkin lost as always. <laughs> Gregory Alec. Once you're promoted or busted, <laughs> both, the Empire needs your help. I need your help. Anything. You name it. Kesh, son of Kor. There is a traitor. High in the ranks of one of the houses of the Empire. Ship's log supplemental. After clearing security protocols, we have brought the Lang on board and have analyzed its flight recorder. Its pilot, Dr. Skep Anderson, transported off the shuttle to an unknown location a short time after being damaged by a meteor storm. We are now scanning for a class implanted in the vicinity in case he beamed down to its surface. Our Klingon friends still shadow our every move. Got it. Class M planet, 38 light hours away. They're taking away from neutrinos, the sir. The Klingon ship is cloaking, sir. We need to deal with them first. We need to find that shuttle pilot. I would like to amend my wager. 50-50, then make it three months. Deal. Navigator, helmsman. If you can hold your bet, silly course 381 Mark 19, War 3. Aye, Aye sir. sir. Let's go get that pilot.
of course, Ray Shields, sound red alert, the phase is on standby. Communications, contact Potemkin. We have contact. Should we? Alec, your ship appears to be quite less impressive than the last time I saw it. Last time I saw it, it was in flames. Target in range. Joe. Of course they're in range, you idiot. We're all friends here. In fact, I have two so-called friends who haven't paid their fare. Take them or I'll space them now. Hello, old friends. Permission to come aboard. Permission granted. Record. Captain Alec Grigory of the Federation Start. Captain Grigory, on Stardate 9942.9, the Potemkin, under your command, was attacked by a squadron of Romulan vessels. You ordered the ship abandoned and stayed behind, guiding the ship for one last desperate stand against your attackers. The Potemkin exploded. Cut some chase, Captain Zarek. How do you find yourself in the here and now? The moment of the Potemkin's destruction, I found myself swept away to a far and distant alien shore. You were not alone there, were you, Captain? I found myself in the sway of a remarkable creature of some ancient people. Creature, Captain? Your companion there was described as... Creature of considerable gifts and abilities. Captain Gregory, Dr. Anderson described her as an attractive woman. She called herself Callie. How long were you on this alien world with this being you have identified as Callie? I was in her sway for what I would estimate to be approximately the equivalent of eight Earth years. Captain, you were declared missing and presumed dead five years ago. Captain, we received notification you were spotted on the thing on the world, the one from which you were rescued. But we do not know by whom or by what means. Do you have any idea who might have arranged your transportation? I suspect that Callie arranged for me to acquire it. How were you able to survive on this previously unknown world with this alien entity? I managed. Captain, is there anything else you would like to add to your statement? Please tell my wife. I'm doing everything I possibly can to get back to her. So noted. Officers of this inquiry, thank you. This matter is considered confidential while additional examinations are conducted. A conclusion will be forthcoming. Captain Gregory, you are dismissed at this time. And Alec, welcome home. This is not home. I knew my ship my home had not survived our fight with the Romulans. But I had an irrational hope that I was wrong. I wasn't. It's been three months and I've had a lot to catch up on. My conversation with Admiral Alwine of Starbase 211 went about as well as I had expected. My conversation with Commander-in-Chief Admiral Lystra Davis 
not so well as I had hoped. After seven years missing in action, I'm lucky I'm even allowed near the center seat. I am on active duty and have been given command of my Potemkin's namesake. And some of my original crew will be returning to their assignments. And while it's not home, it will be good to be back. Now, if I can only find that damn barber shop. So do you believe she was Calypso? She thought she was. Ridiculous. <laughs> there are more things in heaven and earth than jumped up in your philosophy, Horatio. <laughs> Let me take this down to the lab, sir. I'll run a DNA scan. Find out who or what she really is. There's no need, sir. She was Calypso. Welcome home, sir. Thank you. There's no place I'd rather be than my own starship. But if I never feel otherwise, I will come back to this place. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get this all down into my log somehow. Take us out of order, Sam. 